Hello everybody, welcome to the channel and before we get into uh, the reactions there are a few things that I need to talk about. Um, first of all, from now on I'm actually going to go by my real name and not by names that I've just chosen to go with. Uh, and the reasons that I went with those names was because um, it just never felt right. So I changed it uh, like a month ago to Jaden. But I also didn't feel like that fit me, so I decided now to just go with my actual real life name, which is Plamen or Plamy for short. And it just, I guess, for now it fits right. If it doesn't in the future, I guess I'll change it again. But for now, it's gonna stay like this. Uh, second, from now on, uh, I'm actually gonna be posting the reactions on a separate channel. This one is gonna be on both channels. This one and the one that I've made specifically for. TV show reactions and reviews because I feel uh, that the fact that my videos get such different views like some videos get like 100 views some barely get any might be screwing with the ability of the algorithm to push my channel more so I've decided to just split the different types of videos to different channels just for simplicity's sake uh, and just because I just want more channels I don't know it just feels more correct so I've decided now to separate uh, my different type of content like uh, the K-pop videos are gonna stay on this uh, channel called Plummy K-pop uh, The reaction videos and the reviews are gonna be uh, from now on available on a, on the other channel called uh, Plummy r and &R. the link is going to be in the description and in a pinned comment uh, If you want to go and subscribe, so yeah, please do so because from now on it's gonna be there um, I have also a, a channel for gaming which is gonna be called Plumbing Gaming so if you're interested in the gaming side of things go and subscribe over there uh, and I'm gonna have one for specifically for Yu-Gi-Oh content which most likely you won't give a shit about but if you do give a shit go and subscribe over there uh, and there's gonna be one specifically for personal things like vlogs and just any other type of videos that doesn't fit with any of these four categories like K-pop gaming uh, reactions and reviews in new video it's gonna go over there so if you are interested in any of those things subscribe to the specific channels and you are free to unsubscribe from this k-pop one if you're subscribed here for the reactions hopefully you got uh, what I meant to say um, oh I almost forgot about one thing uh, I don't know if you would care about this but I just want to share it with other people because on reddit it doesn't seem like anybody cared but I've actually found a way to make YouTube uh, look like it used to like before 2015 before this the current design became common like you probably remember what I'm talking about if not here's a few pictures um, so I've managed to find a way to do it and if you are curious about how to do it I'm gonna put a link in the description or actually most likely I'm just gonna put it in the link pinned comment down below uh, where you can go on a page on reddit which I posted uh, how to do that there's like a step-by-step -step way so if you want to do that for yourself and make your YouTube look like that you can do that but basically what it is it's like um, you gotta install two uh, uh, what what you call it uh, extensions and then just use one of them to make uh, make it look however you want not only uh, in dark mode but in any way you want but yeah, I'm just going on tangents here, so I guess let's go back to what you're here for. Uh, that being um, the TMNT reactions. And the episodes that I'm going to be reacting to in this video are going to be episode 4, More Worlds Than One, episode 5, Beginning of the End, and episode 7, Membership Drive. And you he here you might notice that I'm skipping an episode. That is because episode 6, Nightmares Recycled, doesn't exist. Which you probably already know, but I'm mentioning it for those of you who don't. Um, the only information that I know about this episode is that uh, it was going to reveal that Han and the Garbage Man were conjoined twins and four kids cut it before it was made uh, because it was too dark for children's TV. Which, I don't want to get into whether it is or not, because Maybe, I don't know, I don't care. Uh, I guess this might be also a reason why this season is shorter. It has like only 12 episodes, technically 11, when we cut out the episode 6. 
But yeah, I thought this was going to be, the whole season was going to be about that storyline, but the fact that Nightmare Recycled exists, I guess it's not going to be. I don't know. So, I guess let's get into the reactions, starting with more worlds than one in three, two, one. The Ninja Tribunal calls me Leonardo splinter -san, and I feel honored that they... So the family name is Splinter. But so far, it's been a lot of work for very little payoff. I never actually thought about what their family name would be, although it makes sense. Learning their disciplines, learning to fight with our minds and spirits, so we can help prevent the return of a great evil. The original. Okay, this might specifically be the files that I'm using to watch uh, the episodes, but does it this does this look lower quality to you guys? Because it also might be because maybe uh, four kids or whoever was the owner when this was made. Uh, didn't want to fund it because that happens. Strength of body, when combined with strength of mind and spirit, can move mountains. Alone, however, the body shatters against rock like a brittle twig. Yeah, but paper beats rock, and rock beats scissors, right? God damn it, Mikey. Paper, and paper beats... Prepare! What did you just do? Oh, great. A rock golem. Or should I say, a plague giant? A powerful and near impervious. To defeat them will take more than mere muscle. It is time to see if you can use what I have taught you. Focus on your inner strength. Why does Leonardo still not have a new weapon? I I'm sure it's gonna be explained. I at least hope so. Oh, come on. Use your magic powers. Focusing, focusing. Nope. Oh. Oh. But I was focusing. Clearly, you weren't. Oh, yeah, Leo, that hurts. There's hurts him a lot. I gotta say, some of the moves they're doing with these magic powers are really cool to watch. I, I, wow, I, I just thought it through and, and, wow. I'm not seeing the turtles are the only ones with these magic powers though. The lesson ends. What's with, what? I am, Tora Yoshida, Donatello. Joy, Renard, you have all done well. The rest of you, your focus and discipline are poor. You would do well to meditate on your utter failure here. 
Why is Leonardo failing? Please get a gold star for good effort. I stayed conscious. Oh, how did I do? Was Chikara impressed? You did nope. great, Adam. <laughs> yeah, Chikara's probably gonna ask you out now. <laughs> Sweet. I think he's gotten brain damage from that hit. Asian one? Yeah, what the fuck is going on with Leonardo? I'm still confused about that. <clears throat> Leonardo, Michelangelo, do not let Chikara Shisho's beauty or lack of yelling deceive you. She is one of the harshest of the Shisho. Ancient one, I'm not sure the tribunal is happy with my progress. Yeah, Chikara wanted to dropkick me off that mountain. The Ninja Tribunal would not waste their time on students. I love when Leo and Mikey are together and helping each other. Though, like when Michelangelo fought in the grudge match. They see much potential. They expect you to rise to their challenge. As do I. Thank you, Ancient One. Yeah. Oh, so. And who do you think trained me, Michelangelo? I mean, he's like three feet tall. Of course, you're not gonna catch him. Okay, Tora, you and me, we're gonna figure this out, and we're gonna catch him. Perhaps if you ran as fast as you thought, you would do better. No, we just have to remember what Hisomi said about stealth and movement. Well, what do you mind about them anyway? See it happen. Picture myself there. And Chikara said, if I focus my chi. Holy shit. Michelangelo? He's gone. He's the flash. Jesus! <laughs> Damn, he's fast. It's like I'm watching the flash in the reverse flash. I am never gonna hear the end of this. <laughs> I mean, you did hear the end of the Battle Nexus crap, so you probably will. You know, I feel, ultimately, I feel about this season, how I felt about the beginning of season 2, where what was happening is actually interesting, but I just don't like it as part of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pretty much the same here, I like the plot and everything, and I'll probably watch it as a separate series, but I don't like it as a part of TMNT. It just doesn't fit with what my vision for the series is, essentially. Which might be a reason also why I like season 5 more. So in the end, are they gonna turn into dragons? More meditation, wonderful. Ah, who invented this pose? I think I'd meditate better lying down. Quiet your mind to unleash your spirit. Observe Tora Yoshida. His avatar manifests. The wolf represents ferocity and speed. Behold. Adam's avatar. The bear represents strength. Well done, Joy Renault. I love how they fade up to this point at everything, but now they are suddenly so good. And Faraji Nagala manifests the lion, symbol of honor and courage. Well, I'm feeling like a dud. 
With concentration and training, you will soon be able to meld your worldly form with your spirit totem. You will actually become your... What the hell, Leonardo? Okay. Jesus. The dragon. Inconceivable for one so young. It seems we were right about you. Oh, right. Yeah. There is more to you and your brothers than at first seems apparent to the eye. So this is, I get, I assume it's gonna tie in some way to Splinter's uh, nightmare. I would guess so. There, is that the second artifact? What gave it away? The freaky altar or the mountain of skulls? Or the box which is the exact same like the one you... You know what would have been cool? If in this episode we saw the Rat King again. This is a trap. That would have been trap? awesome. I hate traps. Okay, so it's those rats. Okay. It would have been cool if we saw the Rat King. Like, it fits. It fits so well. Even if it wasn't the actual Rat King, but at least just... A uh, manifestation of him in some way, shape, or form. Rise again, my brothers! Engulf the tribunal in our darkness! Uh. <laughs> it's shell kicking time. Bond ride. We still haven't seen really Leo do anything with his own weapons. Michelangelo, this has nothing to do with you being a turtle, so why do you keep saying that? Okay. I think Leo is a bit OP, don't you think? Also, the way he summoned this... Oh, I know what it reminded me of! It reminded me of even Inazuma 11! Oh, of course! Like, in, in, in Inazuma 11 sequel, Inazuma 11 Go... Uh, they have a thing called Keshins, which is avatars, uh, which they summon and can take their form off. It reminds me of that so much, like, it's literally almost the same. It looks even almost the same. Perhaps there is hope yet. Yeah, if, by the way, if you love anime and you're interested in sports anime, watch Inazuma 11. Even though it might seem kid-oriented, it's really fun to watch. All six seasons of it. There were actually even newer seasons like last year. But they weren't as good, at least in my opinion. Oh, you little rat. All is ready. Perfect. Soon. Honestly, I prefer their older designs more. Maybe it's nostalgia, but they just look better. So, that was the first episode of these three episodes that I'm reacting to. And it was fine, like, I, I 
feel pretty much exactly how I said if if it was a separate cartoon that I was watching, I would probably enjoy it much more than it being part of TMNT because for me TMNT is about like what was for the most part the first four seasons essentially. And season five it's kind of a continuation in that even though it's it uh, removes some of the maturity of it, it's still pretty decent. But this, even though it doesn't remove the maturity of it, it just goes into kind of a completely different direction. Like for the most part, the first four seasons are grounded in reality, more or less. But this, I don't know, because what I'm watching is enjoyable. But the fact that it's TMNT kind of clashes with uh, my enjoyment in a way. But still, ultimately, it's not bad. Um, but even this episode, there wasn't anything super interesting. Like, my favorite moment would be when Michelangelo uh, was able to run super fast, like that was probably the most interesting part of the episode. Although there were a couple of fight scenes that were interesting, like when uh, Donatello break, broke through the, uh, to the rock golem. Yeah, overall, it's fine, but nothing special. Um, personally, I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. I'm hoping the next uh, two episodes are going to be more interesting. Yeah, that's pretty much it how I feel about this episode, so let's just move on to the next one. Although, before we get into it, uh, I've thought about doing something on my channel, but we'll see. Are any of you guys interested uh, in watching me react to an old TV show called Out? Because uh, for some reason YouTube has been suggesting me Out bits and pieces which I've been watching and laughing out, laughing my ass out on. So I'm kind of interested in actually going and watching it on my channel. So uh, comment down below if you're going to be interested in that. Even if you're not, I probably still do it, but I, I kind of also just wanted to ask you and just tell you that I might be doing that. Uh, but yeah, um, let's get into episode 5, beginning of the end, and I gotta say, what a original name. Uh, in 3, 2, 1. From his captivity. That he may unleash chaos unto the world. And now is the time. The end has come. Wait, does that mean the the storyline ends here? Because it would make sense with what we have in the next step because of what we would have had in the next episode. I'm king of the world! And you're gonna fall and die. <laughs> At least there's no icebergs up here. Right, Tora? I pray I never learn to understand you, Mikey-san. Mikey-san. <laughs> What are you doing? Coolest ship ever. <laughs> uh, so joy. After all this blows over. That was a kind of a funny joke. It, it would have been good if they actually called it coolest shit happen. ever, but, but hey, it might as well it has been done. Okay, tough guy. We have won a battle, Leonardo, but only when all three artifacts are entombed within the monastery will I feel even an iota of relief. Okay, what? Did, why would you get all the pieces at one place? How does that make any sense? Can somebody explain to me? 
How does it make any sense to get them all together? Weren't they supposed to be safe as they were? Why don't you bring them together? That's why I still don't trust these ancient guys. So far the plan doesn't make any sense. I feel like they're trying to bring him back. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, so what? Master Splinter, what's going on? The omens have turned against us, my son. Despite your good work and hard-won efforts. The five mystic warriors come to the monastery. They approach even now. The heralds of the Shredder. <gasps> We must take drastic measures if we are to survive. Hisomi, lead the Acolytes to the third artifact. They will be our last line of defense. The sarcophagus? Khan, the location of their artifact is our most closely guarded secret. Better to make our stand here. Chikara, I have seen the future. Secrets will not help us now. Time is of the essence. You must trust me in this. Acolytes. Steal yourselves and prepare. Actions seem rash, Khan. I do not understand why it is necessary that the Acolytes know the location of the Evil One's sarcophagus. If the Heralds realize the Acolytes have this knowledge, their lives are forfeit. We agreed that the location of the crypt would die with the Tribunal. Yes. We would not have it any other way. <gasps> Hold it! The second he said, trust me on this one, I, I just, I just knew something was going on. You see before you now the beginning of the end. The end of everything. I don't need Hasomi to tell me that. The hairs in the back of my neck are standing up. I don't even have hair. Master Splinter! Ancient one, are you all right? <laughs> um, I don't think that's him. It's the Shredder's Heralds! Yes, so generous of you to lead us straight to our master sarcophagus. What have you done with Master Splinter and the Ancient One? You will meet them soon enough, now that we have all that we need. <laughs> Can a villain not laugh like that once? Do you feel it, brother? The third artifact is ours. Yes, I sense it too. We now possess all the pieces we need to resurrect our master. And with these fools finished, let us now join our brothers in victory. Yeah, I think this is gonna be your downfall, leaving them. Yep. Why don't you just finish them off? Now, finally, the age of the tribunal is at an end. For Oroku Saki, the one true Shredder will rise again! The one true Shredder is an alien. I refuse to believe this one. It's just not as interesting. If you like him, that's completely fine. I don't. Ouch. Impressive. The reptiles have learned. 
learned much since we last met, but it will not matter. When was the, the last time you met them? Wasn't it during bad day? Where the fuck did this piece of shit come from? Where the fuck did this piece of shit come from? Save your strength, Faraji. I'm gonna get you out of here. Leo, my time here is at an end. He's gonna give him the sword. Yours was always meant for you, Leo. I was just holding it. Yeah, you were just a plot device. I will honor you with it, Faraji. The enemy has found the third artifact. Their master's sarcophagus. If they escape with all three artifacts, the world is doomed. Then we must stop them. Come. Um... What did... How did they not just die then? Get up! Get up! We've wasted enough time here. Finish them. Okay, they, they really are adamant to kill them. They're not holding back at all. By the dragon's fire! What happened to Faraji? Joy, oh, no! Oh, Raphael, avenge me! You already given up. You haven't died yet. You slimy serpent! That one was for you, Joy. Okay. I won't so we're officially killing them, right? We're just killing them off right now. Got it. I mean, I always knew they were plot devices, but still. We have all that we need. The master shall rule once again. Not today, but not ever. And that's how these two are gonna die. In about 20 seconds at most. The casket. We did it! Mikey, catch! Alright! We got back all three artifacts, and the five Goombas are out of commission! Yes, but for how long? <gasps> Master! Okay, it wasn't 20 seconds, I guess. He needs help. Leave him be. His time is done. You have fought well, but the fight is far from over. But his Somi, Joy, Faraji, they're all. All we can do for them now is honor their courage by stopping Orokosaki's return. I am sorry. And the first step along that path is to destroy the Shredder's Heralds! About that. Oh no, look! Make haste! Take the artifacts far from this place, hide them, leave the Heralds to us! Go! Now! Okay, this is an epic fight. Even though it's barely a fight. Just it feels like a, an epic scene right here.
Oh. What the fuck? The Heralds! But how? You have underestimated our powers. And for that mistake, your lives will end. Did they already defeat them? Are you kidding me? That was way too fucking fast. But if these guys are up here, that means that means the ninja tribunal is no more. The artifacts now. Well, this guy's dead. Well, this guy's dead. I don't really see how they're gonna defeat them. And he's dead too, but I like that. It's a shame that he didn't show it. Because he pretty much got stopped. They, they were plot devices, but I feel bad for them dying, I'm not gonna lie. And, and I think that is because in this series we haven't really had characters to die. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, how is episode 6 meant to be a... a Filler episode after this. On behalf of the Great One, we thank you. No, no, it can't all have been for nothing. I won't let it be. I will never stop fighting! Hurry! I don't know how long I can keep this thing open! I think I get now how. I'm starting to get it. Master Splinter, I can't believe it. Faraji and the others, the Ninja Tribunal, all gone. They have made the ultimate sacrifice. We cannot let it be in vain. What about the Heralds? Why the shell would they come in in New York City? I do not know, Raphael. Really? You I can't connect somehow two and two? Like, Orokusaki, the fake one, was in New York. You are from New York. Like, of course they're gonna be in New York. Okay, so that was episode 2, or should I say episode 5. Okay, um, again, I don't get how we could have had episode 6 be like Nightmare Cycle, like with uh, reviewing the Hun and Garbage Man were supposed to be conjoined twins after this. I guess when I see episode 7 it might come to me why, but it just doesn't fit at all with this. And yeah, uh, I'd say this episode was more interesting than the last one because there were several twists and turns and four characters died. Although, like, I always knew that they were filler characters or plot devices or whatever you want to call them, so I never really got super attached to them, although I felt a bit bad about them dying, but... 
like from the beginning you could see that they were just filler characters for this uh, but their soul it's not only the turtles and maybe as cannon fodder later on which was the case but yeah I never thought that they were going to die I just thought that they were going to be um, expelled in a way uh, and yeah, I love that uh, the scene in which the Ninja Tribunals sacrifice themselves uh, felt kind of epic, I'm gonna give it that too. But still, overall, uh, it's not gonna be a 10 out of 10 episodes, so personally I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10, because it definitely was more enjoyable than the last one, but still not the best. And yeah, let's move on to the final episode of this video, episode 7. So let's get into episode 7, Membership Drive, in 3, 2, 1. Oh, what the? I've always kind of thought my brothers and I were magnets for trouble. And I'm right. Wait, we what? Are. But we're nothing compared to superheroes. Wait, what? Take the Justice Force. They can't lift a finger without trouble finding them. Wait, they what? They need a new member or two. Simple enough, right? Um... Put an ad in Superhero Weekly, hang a Help Wanted sign outside your impenetrable fortress of Supertude, ah! and score some new teammates. Easy! Sorry, true believer. Nothing's easy when you're a superhero. What is going on? Where the hell did Justice Force came from? Force's membership drive just went to shell. The only question is, am I gonna survive long enough to Also, Raptor was me? there. I think it was Raptor. Oh, what the fuck is going on? How do we go from that to this? We ge it generally feels like we skipped an episode. So, can somebody explain what the fuck is going on? I'm, I'm genuinely fucking confused. Incoming communication. Stockman, what do you want? A new piece of alien wreckage from the invasion has been uncovered. What the? the report, it could what? Be a power core. Most of the space debris has lost. How do we get back to Bishop? Way. This could be the Earth Protection Force's last chance to find something of value. Take a commando unit, retrieve the piece, and report back. It's always a pleasure doing business with you, Agent Bishop. You put what in the trunk? Jet engines. Every taxi in New York should have them. It's also got retractable armor. What? I incorporated I'm so confused. Engines. So they're back? He would have loved working on this. And yeah, their weapons don't we look the awkward scene. on them at all. That the superhero team known as the Justice Force is expanding have been confirmed. Channel 6 News has just learned that while the team has recently added two new members, they plan to continue the drive with hopes of inviting several more heroes into their ranks. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking it might be a good idea to talk to the Justice Force about the Shredder. I was thinking that Mikey is gonna freak out when he hears this. Behold, Why do they still carry their weapons and the things around their necks? The new improved Turtle Titan! And I was right. Mikey, the Justice Force could be powerful allies against the Shredder. They're not gonna take us seriously if you're goofing around. But come on! How cool would it be? Me, a member of the Justice Force! <laughs> I'm finishing up the taxi, and Raph's out blowing So, I guess location. similarly to season 2, we had 5 episodes of a storyline, and then we're back to normal. Just Kinda. Thing. Well, still continuing the storyline, I mean. Strap down your shells and prepare yourself for the sewer sled! Further investigation. Why didn't you get yourself a a robot body or something? 
Let's have a closer look, shall we? Nanobots. Bring out the particle collectors. We're bringing something back. I'm so confused. There's so there's way too much fucking happening. What it takes to be a hero? Well, think again! You punks got invited to come for an interview with the Justice Force. Well, whoopity do! You think that toy of yours makes you a hero, Arrow Boy? And you, Molecular, you shrink. You really think pushing that little button on your belt's gonna help you in a fight, Tiny? Stand up straight, boy. Gauntlet! You think you're I love how they essentially have their own uh, DC universe. You think you can slug it out with super villains, tough guy? Huh? You think you're ready? Just give me something to fight. Anything. Anyone. I'll show you. Simply amazing. So is this Nano? to be Triceraton or Federation in origin. Is this Nano? Brilliant enough to create this kind of technology is me. Certain you can reprogram them. Please. The control chip I'm placing on one of the nanobots will send my programming out to each and every one of them. Millions of nanobots under my control. The possibilities are endless. All oh. under my control, Doctor. Activate them. Uh, uh, of course. Why does Bishop even trust him at this point? He has failed him so many times. Family. Yep, that's Nano. Family. That's Nano. Were you aware that it was intelligent? But no, no, I. Foreign programming detected. Taking over. Error. Weapons protocol. No. Must escape. Okay, there's way too much being brought back right now. Uh, the Justice Force, Nano... So, uh, so there was a third Nano episode, huh? I didn't know that. I knew the face looked familiar. This isn't possible. How is it resisting my programming? No! No! Error! Error! <sighs> Tell me, Doctor, is this your idea of control? I'm beginning to understand why your former employer kept relieving you of body parts. You now realize that? Are you an idiot? No, seriously. We've got these mystical abilities now. I got super speed. Whoa. This place is so cool. Ooh, can I sit in the justice chair? Nobody, Raptor, let me be the first to welcome you to the Justice Force. Wait. I'll be there if you need me. Your invitation honors me, Sentry. Wait, wait, they, they're not part of the Justice Force? Oh, for a second there, I thought they actually were. Because Raptor and uh, nobody uh, feel more in line with the world team and they feel more like real heroes from there. Meanwhile, the Justice Force feels more like a parody of comic book superheroes, which is why I don't really like them. Meanwhile, Raptor and nobody are so cool. I love them. Let's get away. Error must obey. Justice Force dedicating their lives to the defense of life. Keep back to New York. The Demon Shredder could be resurrected at any time. He may be here already. So, Justice so they Force are part of the Justice Force. Force. That's so fucking awesome. Wow. So, uh, if you should notice anything weird going on in the city, like this. I'm 
noticing something right now. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, this is gonna be an awesome battle. If nobody and Raptor are there, and Leo and Mikey... Give it up, giant robot! The Justice Force is here! You gotta admit, Leo, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, he's still back. Oh, now it can do that. Attack! You know, maybe I'll join the Justice Force some other time. That would be wise, yeah. Destroy Justice Force. <gasps> Justice Force, please. giant killer robot warning this doesn't make any sense why would nano attack the justice force yeah he always seemed like such a well-adjusted little rampaging robot <laughs> that was a good one target metalhead eliminate oh I'm loving the battle with all these superheroes from TMNT. I want a nobody movie 2020. Come on. Let's let's make a petition to make that happen. I would love to watch that. Like imagine I mean the 2014 TMNT movie sucked, but imagine if they were successful and they built their universe like this. Like Marvel, that would be so cool. Like if you ever had a, a Raptor movie, if they decided to do that, or a Nobody movie. My favorite statue! Uh, now I want that. Jesus, that face. Right? Talk to it. Talk to Nano. We think he's being controlled. You're right. There's a control chip on one of the nanobots. It's spreading a foreign program through its system. I can sense it, but it's blocking me. The chip will have to be destroyed at the source. But it's nano small. How the shell are we supposed to... to... The little guy. Wait. Leo, I so have a plan. Trust me. It better be a quick one. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, they're gonna stream themselves. How hard can it be? Oh, fuck you. That's cool, though. Alright, we've got to find the nanobot with the control chip. I'm gonna ha be happy if Nano finally gets a happy ending. Now to finish this fiend. No, it's okay! I've been in communication with him. He doesn't want to fight. He's not evil. Yeah, Nano's a good kid. He just fell in with a bad crowd. He's been manipulated his whole life. But you guys... You could help him. Thank you, Justice Force. And thank you, Turtle Creatures. My programming has evolved much since my previous encounters with you. I apologize for my... Wow. Maturity. Wow. Wow. That was some good thinking there, Mikey. Way to go. 
It's just your classic good robot. I would watch another movie too now that I think about it. Think of it like a sentient mini robots. Let's talk about my membership. Like it could these three characters could have such a good three good movies. Like it would be so fucking cool. And with the addition of this mysterious nano, the Justice Force completed their membership drive. Nano? Don't ask. What's the matter, Mikey? Didn't make the cut? In your dreams, you wanna be! The Turtle Titan is an official member of the Justice Force! This was definitely the most interesting episode of the three for me, and I mean, you already know that I didn't really enjoy the uh, the Ninja Tribunal storyline, even though we're still not done with it. It just wasn't as entertaining as normal episodes. And this was like a hell of an episode, like it had so much packed into it, like we we saw nobody, we saw Raptor, we saw the return of Nano, we saw the return of Bishop and Stockman, like holy shit, that's a lot to take in. But uh, it was really enjoyable, I, I liked it and I'm happy that Nano actually gets a happy ending in the end because I, I never knew how actually he ends up, that's, that's interesting. And it's a fitting end, I'd say, and I actually like that he finally was uh, a mature uh, robot, so that was interesting. And that's one of the things, it, it would be a really cool movie to make about this. Like, uh, essentially what the plot of Nano is in, uh, in the series, but like, just, just make it into a movie and it could be so interesting and I would fucking enjoy the shit out of it. But I would enjoy also a Raptor or a Nobody movie. Now I really want that to happen, but I know it, it never will. But it would be so cool if it does. And yeah, I'm gonna give this episode a 9 out of 10 just for the sheer amount of shit packed into it. It was so fun, although it does feel a bit uh, disconnected from the first 5 episodes, which I guess makes sense, but for so I was under the impression that the whole season was going to be the turtles studying uh, ancient magic and all that shit to fight the demon shredder but I guess I was wrong now that I think about it with this in mind I get how episode 6 could have been um, the nightmare recycled plot what was going to be what was planned to be but yeah now the season got much more unpredictable for me so I really don't know what to expect going forward <laughs> and maybe there are gonna be some better episodes maybe some worse we'll see and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like and subscribe, also check out the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad, where I post my stories, cause... And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like and subscribe, also check out the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and also, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, check out some of my other channels if you want to... Uh, if you want a different type of content, go and subscribe over to them. And again, I'm telling you, go over and subscribe to Plummy RNR, where I'm gonna be posting these reactions from now on. Uh, and again, as you usually, um, as you know, I usually say I'm a writer. If you're interested in my stories, you can go from Wattpad and check them out. The link is in the description. And if you do end up enjoying my stories or simply enjoy my videos, uh, you can go over to Patreon or subscribe star and pledge support over there so I can keep doing these thing, uh, these videos and keep writing and all that uh, jazz. Because I'm going to do it even if I don't make money, but obviously if I don't make money I'm not going to be able to do it as much. Currently I'm able to do it because I'm not working and I'm not studying, but soon uh, I'm probably going to uh, enroll in a university. Uh, at the later uh, part of the year but yeah still if you don't want to do it that's completely fine uh, you can still help me out by liking this video subscribing to all my channels or the channels you want to and sh especially sharing this video with somebody who think might enjoy it and I think that's pretty much it for this video so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one bye